Okay, so let's talk about the different types of layouts for galleries. So first of all, every single template has its own, um, kind of has a gallery layout assigned to it. So if I go in and actually create a page with a gallery, a true gallery, so coming down here to this like Turner family gallery, um, the general parameters for this gallery are already set. This is the way that it decides that it wants to lay this out on this gallery. But typically when I build a website, I don't use the actual gallery pages for viewers to look at. This is more like a working area. So I keep them into not linked and then I prefer to use summaries to organize my galleries. That way I have a little bit more control over how those galleries look. So for instance, on this website, if I click back to that homepage, I have some galleries here on the homepage under explore for featured galleries. And then I also have galleries listed here um, by category for people to browse through. And I have them set up differently. So if I click on this featured galleries here, you will see that I have three different featured galleries. I have them set up in a carousel format. I don't have them moving because since I have three of them, I think it would be a little distracting to see automatically transitioning movement would be a little um, overwhelming, but I do have it so that they can go through with the previous and next controls. I like this look for the um, for this type of a layout just because they're featured and it kind of gives people a chance to, to see the images in a little bit larger format. Um, but if I go up to the galleries pages where we have these sub galleries, the category galleries, these I have set up a little bit differently. And so we can do this in a number of different ways. You can, if you go into your sub area, we could have one image for a gallery that then links to another page that shows the images for that gallery. Um, in the interest of not having clients and users have to click through and through and through and keep clicking, I decided for this website to just put the images in the, the main page right here. So the reason that the gallery looks a little bit different is because I simply chose a different layout. So let me get rid of some of these extra lines here. So you'll see that we have short thumbnails for all of these. If someone wanted to look at any of these images in larger format, they simply click on it and it light boxes open where then they can scroll through and see them. So if we wanted to change this though and make it look a little bit more like the other image layout, the gallery layout, then we would simply click edit and we would go into the design area and this is where we can choose from several different styles. So by clicking slideshow, we can again choose automatically transitioning. I don't ever automatically crop images on a photographer website because I think that kind of defeats the point of, um, of viewing the pictures as they should be viewed. Um, showing the thumbnails will actually, oops, let's add that on here so we can see. We'll put the thumbnails at the bottom of the slideshow. So if I click show thumbnails, they should be showing here. Let's scroll down. There we go. So now you can see those thumbnails. Um, if I choose another layout, so I could choose the carousel, which is how I have them set up on the other page. It does not have the thumbnails at the bottom. It just keeps it a little bit more simple and clean. Again, you can do automatically transition if you'd like. Um, the grid is the way that I currently have it set up. On grid, I choose not to crop the images. You can show the title if you'd like, but I like to have it very um, uh, simple. And you can choose the thumbnails per row, the padding so that you can make it um, squeeze more in and have it look a little bit more like an Instagram layout if you make that padding zero. Um, then you'll always want to make sure that you light box. So you can either do a dark overlay or a light overlay, but the light box is how it allows people to click on the, the picture to see it in um, a larger format. Last but not least is the stacked, um, the stacked layout. And this is not one that I typically like because it just takes up so much room. Um, the images are literally just stacked right on top of each other. So I prefer to either go with the um, with the carousel, slideshow, or the grid layout. It's completely up to you, but that's how easy it is to edit and kind of decide if you want things to be consistent throughout the site, then you can use your gallery summaries. And it's basically just all you're using is a block. You're going into um, adding a block. You're adding a gallery block. It doesn't matter which one you choose initially. If I choose a carousel, I'm sorry, a grid, 
um, I can then use an existing gallery of one of the galleries that I set up previously. And once that is done, then I can automatically change that design if I like. So even though I chose grid, I can come back in and say, no, I think I'd rather do the carousel. And that's completely fine. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And that's pretty much it.